guys, I've got another tutorial for you today. Um, first of all, excuse the mess in my studio, it's uh, very gross right now. But it's really the only location I can film in at the moment, so bear with me. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to repair a broken briar model with acetone. Um, basically how this works is briars are made of a plastic called cellulose acetate. And what acetone does is it actually melts the cellulose acetate plastic. So then when the two pieces are bonded together, they'll form a tight seal that's a lot better and a lot cleaner than using something like super glue. And it's a method that's been used for pretty much decades to repair briar models. So um, before we start, just so you know, acetone is a chemical. It's not the nicest substance in the world. So if you're on the younger side, I highly recommend either having your parents help you or do this for you. Um, but anyways, let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need one broken model, one cotton swab, and acetone. All right, so as you guys can see, I have my victim here. He's a Briar old timer. He's actually a really nice one. He's from the 1960s, nice glossy finish. And I purchased him with a broken leg that it was repaired kind of crappily. So I'm gonna redo this and hopefully give it a little better seal. All right, so we're gonna take the acetone and then take our trusty little cotton swab. And dip it in the acetone. Like the last toilet tutorial earlier, acetone also does not smell very nice, so if you're going to be doing this for a while, I highly recommend either going outside or putting a mask on. So then I'm going to put the acetone on each broken end, both on the leg and the rest of the leg. And it's going to start melting the plastic a little bit. Leave it for about 30 seconds before you attempt the actual repair. Whoops. Mistake. And this is actually the exact reason why you shouldn't use nail polish remover to make a custom or anything like that, because nail polish remover does have acetone in it. And so when you use the nail polish remover to remove paint, you're actually melting the plastic as well. And that's also why you shouldn't let the acetone get on anywhere except the brake, because it will take the paint off. So we're just going to wait probably about 15, 20 more seconds. Let the acetone sit for a little bit. So now what you're gonna do is take the brake and the model and you're gonna try to get the brake lined up as cleanly as possible and you're just gonna sit there and hold. Put a lot of pressure on it, hold for at least a minute. This actually didn't take the first time. It might take you two or three different tries, especially if you're just starting out. I'm personally kind of rusty on this. I haven't done it in a while. But just again, make sure you have enough acetone on the brake. In fact, I'm going to put a little extra on here. So again, just let it sit for about 30 seconds and then hold for at least a minute and then try again. All right, and then once all is said and done and everything's set, you should have a fixed horse. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty simple. Takes a little bit of practice. It is frustrating at times, but it really is the best way to repair a brake on a model horse. So thanks for watching, guys.